is KBOI 2 News, first at four. At the top today, pot use and police recruitment. A few proposed laws would loosen restrictions on recruits who have recently used the drug. But as KBOI 2's Brian Morin reports, the worry is it will let some people become police officers who shouldn't be. Brian? Yeah, Natalie and Brent, the Idaho Peace Officer Standards and Training Council is located here on the Idaho State Police campus. It's about the third building back on the left here in Meridian. Now, Post, as it's called, introduced the legislation uh, to, uh, to, uh, in the State House, of course, and uh, it is getting a lukewarm reception by police departments. Uh, the position that, that the Post Council has is that the um, pending rule change is not a reduction in the standards for peace officers in the state of Idaho. So let's take a look at the recommended change, and it would be voluntary if passed by the legislature. Proposed, an applicant will be rejected if he, she has smoked marijuana within the past year. Old rule, an applicant will be rejected if he, she has smoked marijuana within the past three years. And as long as that usage is not habitual and it's not recent within that one year, they still can be considered for certification as a peace officer in the state of Idaho. The proposed change isn't sitting well with everyone. At the Meridian Police Department, they aren't changing a thing. Um, our, our take is it should stay the way it is. Um, uh, when you start lowering the standards, that never has helped out any police agency in this country. And I think you can go throughout the country, see agencies who are under consent decrees, and you can see where they have lowered standards in, in one area, in drug use, and then they lower standards in another area, maybe criminal history and things like that. And I think that you start going down this slippery slope. Okay, now ISP also says it will not go along with the changes if it actually becomes law. Ada County Sheriff's Office says they don't plan on making any changes either. Now, you did hear them referencing habitual marijuana use. Now, the current standard is an applicant must be clean for five years if they're a habitual user, not just kind of a one-time oopsie. They're proposing that uh, that year, that figure is reduced down to three years. Of course, it's uh, gotten out of committee in the House and the Senate side, but still has to pass the full legislature at this point. Reporting live in Meridian, Brian Moore and KBOI 2 News.